Bra. What's up my people, my name is Spicy and today I have 5 stories coming out of the subreddit Adult Worker Lady. Once again, once we reach the 2500 subscribers mark, I will be giving away 4 Amazon gift cards of either $25 or $50 or maybe 8 cards of $10 each. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel to stay tuned when the giveaway will happen. But more importantly, if you are having fun here, drop a fire emoji in the comments and like this video, it helps me grow the channel. Congratulations Brittany for the comment of the day. Just a reminder that not everyone is a bad person. Yesterday I ran to the store to do some last minute Thanksgiving shopping. And while running around trying to find my items, an elderly lady says, excuse me, from behind me. I turned around and she asked, do you work here sir? To which I replied, no, sorry. She said thank you and disappointingly turned around. I said, but I can probably help you find what you're looking for. And proceeded to tell her where she could find the butter and some other items she was looking for. She was very grateful and very kind. I just wanted to post this to remind everyone that not everyone is crazy and some people just need some help. Stay wholesome reddit. A wild Karen and her son demands me to buy him a video game. EM is for entitled mother, EB is for entitled brat, GE for a great employee and me, well, yours truly. A little backstory. So as many of you know, GameStop is a pretty bad place to go to to buy video games. But I was looking for an exclusive pop figure at Grand Pool to be exact. As I am walking into the store, I saw a pretty agitated typical Karen stepping out of her vehicle, including her what happened to be around 14 to 15 year old son. Her entitled brat even had the generic straight but wants to have curly hair hairstyle. Hello, welcome to GameStop. Hey, grand employee. Anyway, I look into the store and see the usual advertising, as well as new games and their pro member deals. Entitled mother walks in and immediately go to the Xbox section, both her and her son looking visibly agitated and her son giving his mother his phone. I could not find the pop figure I was looking for and I decide to buy a game instead. I walk over and the entitled mother gives me this stare. Excuse me, do you have this game? And she shows me her phone. Um, are you talking to me ma'am? She is flipping her hair in the most caring way possible. Yes, after all you work here. Uh ma'am, no I don't, I'm just Yeah, you do. I saw you restocking the shelves over there, so you are going to help me or not? I I think you might have a slight misunderstanding ma'am, I was just looking for a pop figure. No, you were not, you even have an employee Lanyard saying you work here. No lady, it's from another company that I work for. Mom, are you going to buy the game or what? Hold on honey, I will after this employee helps instead of standing there. And she shoots me a look. Lady, even if I was an employee, I could not help because that game is not available on Xbox. Stop lying to me. I am demanding you to buy my son this game right now or else I will call corporate. By then, the great employees start walking over to us. Ma'am, is there a problem here? Yes, one of your employees is refusing to help me and I'm going to have to call corporate. Ma'am, this person does not work here. Yeah, he does. Look at his lanyard. Ma'am, I'm afraid that I'm going to have to ask you to leave because you are disturbing the customers. Well, this will not be happening if this employee had done his job. Ma'am, if you don't leave, I'm going to have to call the police. Fine, but I found a better deal anyway at Walmart. Mom, you said it was going to work that I would get a free game. They finally, thankfully. Sir, I'm so sorry for that inconvenience. Would you like a 50% discount? Yes, great employee. Anyway, I ended up having the last laugh as I got a $25 brand new game in exchange for dealing with a wild Karen and young Chad in training. I know this is the wrong number, but I still don't believe you. I used to get frequent calls on my mobile phone asking for for let's call him Mr. Wong. That was not his name, but it was a Chinese name and I am Chinese too. So I am allowed to make a Wong number joke. This was in 2014 or so. As far as I can tell, Mr. Wong had printed up business cards, had some kind of flyer or ad, whatever, with the wrong number, namely my number. It seems his potential customers or clients really did have my exact phone number, not just something close to it. Most of the time, people were apologetic when I explained what was going on. They got the message when I said I was not Mr. Wong. I didn't know Mr. Wong and definitely did not work for him. There was some kind of mistake with his business info. Most people caught him pretty quick 
and it was all good. But there was this one guy. He kept calling back and he refused, absolutely refused to accept my explanation. In the end, it went something like this. Look, just tell him. Sir, this is my phone. I don't know him. I don't know how to reach him. You've got the wrong number. Is this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? Yes, it is. And that's not. Then I've got the correct number. Stop telling me I've made a mistake. I'm not saying that, sir. I'm sure you did dial 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It is just that the number you have is not right. I think he's been giving out mine by accident. Mm -mm -mm. No, that can be it. I'm not sure what to tell you. That's it. Did you change your phone number? You've got Wong's old number. Uh, no, sir, definitely not. You got a new line, and uh, what's your phone company? They gave you Wong's number. No, I am sure that it isn't. But even if it was, I... Those telecoms companies should not be doing that. Well, I... You should tell them. They gave you Wong's number. Uh, I've had this number for years. No, 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 that can't be. This is Wong's number. When did you get this number? You must have changed your number. Now, at this point, I was vaguely incredulous. I mean, the guys finally acknowledged he's got the wrong number, and yet he's still questioning me? I probably should have just hang up, but... Sir, that's none of your business, but fine. I've had these numbers for 15 years now. That's not possible. Wong, three years of school, three years of army, six years in uni, two years of work. No, you are right. That's 14 years, not 15. Sorry. Uh, well, um, but who had the number before? It must have been Wong's number before. He must have had it before you. I swear I am not embellishing. He really asked me that. It was a ridiculous question. I am not responsible for the ancient history of my own phone number. Looking back, I think maybe he wanted me to admit that maybe someone else had the phone number in the past. So he could claim he was right or something. But as it happened, unless Mr. Wong is a woman and my mother, I don't think so. But she got this line around 1995. Five, sir, for the office. I took over the account afterwards. But maybe it was wrong. This number used to be attached to a Nokia with an antenna we had to pull out. But, sir, my family had this number since the 1990s. We are probably the only ones who's ever had it. Even if Wong had the number once, he is giving you a number that's 20 years out of date. I, uh, I guess I've got the wrong number? You have the wrong number. Oh, okay, uh, okay, sorry. No problem. Have a good evening. Well, at least I won. I think? I don't get calls from Mr. Wong anymore, so there's that, at least. Before we get into the next story, I just want to say a quick reminder. Please subscribe to the channel if you are enjoying these videos to so get more of these. And it also helped me get more viewers. So if you want to see better content, well, I need more viewers to be able to put more money into these videos. So if you want to help me, just like this video and leave a fire emoji in the comments. Because engagement does help me get promoted by YouTube. So if you want to help me, just like and leave a comment. That's simple. But... Thank you in advance. No, this is your job. I am a high school student. I am 17. I attend a school where the teachers are not very strict and often leave the classroom to go smoke a cig or something. I wear glasses, so the teachers often think I am smart, even though I am not. Our third period just started. We went into the classroom. I don't know how schools abroad are, but we go from room to room every period. We take our seats and while everyone is pulling out their books, the teacher goes, I am going to leave the classroom. Probably for the whole period. You. And she points at me. You are in charge now. Teach them something. Me, who was not paying attention to what she said. Huh? Don't huh me. You know what I just told you. Do your job. She leaves the room, leaving all of us confused. The ones who were actually listening to what she said explained the situation to me. So I thought I might as well explain the last topic to them, since I remember it pretty well. And because the exams are coming up and and nobody has a single clue what the topic is about. So I proceed to teach the class instead of my teacher, with everybody thanking me because they finally understand the topic. Towards the end of the period, the teacher comes back, sees the whiteboard and goes, What are you doing? You were supposed to teach them this. She pulls out a paper with a topic she was supposed to teach us. You had one job and you could not even do that right. I am a rather calm person, but here I just lost my temper and begin to raise my voice. My job? My job? 
I am not a teacher. I am supposed to be sitting there, in the seat where my stuff is and learning from you. She realized what she just said and was just staring blankly at her papers, while the rest of us left the room because the period ended. Wait a second, was this teacher really that terrible? This teacher is teaching her next generation. Those are our kids. Those are our future and she just goes out for an entire period? What do you have to do during the time that you were hired to teach children? That was so so important that you had to leave the class for a whole hour. I didn't know we had Karens as teachers now. That is wow. Be ashamed, Karen. You're a teacher. You should know better. The toilet is not my problem. This is not that big of a story in comparison to others here. But it was still fun for me a little. At the time, I work as an automation engineering intern at a plastics manufacturing plant. As per our dress code, I had to wear steel toe boots, jeans, and a long sleeve blue shirt that is made out of a special material that does not make fuzzies, the little balls of fuzz that sometimes come off of shirts, lint. It also has the company logo in plain view on my chest. This is somewhat important for the story. I needed an oil change in my car, so after work, I went to a local Walmart with a vehicle service center. Once I dropped my car off, I had some time to spare, so I walked around the store, checked out the electronics, some other things. After about half an hour, my car was done and I decided to go to the bathroom before I leave. When I came out of the bathroom, there was an older lady with the Karen vibe. Now, mind you, even though my shirt was blue, it was not the same color as the shirts worn by Walmart employees. She notices me come out of the bathroom and in a huff walks up to me, old Karen, in a nasty tone. I just wanted to let you know that the woman's room is absolutely disgusting. There is paper all over the floor and it's just gross in there. Either you or someone else needs to clean it up and then just stares at me with a nasty glare. I, being really confused, can't figure out why she wants me, a male customer, to go into a woman's bathroom to clean it. I can't go into the woman's room, as it is for women and janitors only. Then it hits me. I am wearing a blue shirt in Walmart, so she must think that I work here. Ma'am, I don't work here. Old Karen looks a bit closer at my shirt and sees the company logo. I saw her eyes get wide and her facial expression change, almost like I saw the light bulb turns on in her head. She looked at me for a split second and then just turned around and walked quickly away from me with not even a sorry. Not a very big ending by any means, but it was kind of funny to me and I figured I'd share it here. Before I let you go away from the heat that you just received, I want to thank you for watching my videos. Thank you, you, for liking the video, for commenting, for subscribing, and even for those who share the videos. This really helped me a lot and I appreciate what you do for me. All of our efforts will ultimately allow me to make better videos for you and I have a ton of ideas. But without support, I can get to this point. But I wish you all a beautiful day and I hope you are doing your best to reach your dreams, live a fulfilled life, have fun and love the people around you.